Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make something that's dirt cheap but extremely handy to have on the install truck or in your shop. So this thing is entirely too long for our purposes. We're going to shorten her up. First of all, this outer sleeve right here, we're not going to use it. The inner sleeve, I got it marked at about 21 inches, so we're going to cut it and the inner portion from tip to there i got it marked at about 24 inches so we're gonna cut those guys down to where we need them all right so i got my lengths cut went ahead and pulled it apart a little bit further this guy up here we don't need him we're gonna save that washer but we don't need this cut off we don't need this cut off right here so I'm going to uh, put this back together, slide that washer back on, flatten this end out a little bit with a uh, hammer so you won't be able to accidentally pull the whole thing apart, which this is soft steel, so you don't have to heat it up or anything. You just got to womp on it a little bit. Now we got this guy back together. We got this end flattened out so that washer is captured on there so this cannot be accidentally removed from this we're going to take the factory foot put it back on top and we're going to put this back together and we need to make a foot for the bottom right here so i got a cut off piece of two by material right here we're going to drill an inch and an eighth hole in it and it will make the top part of our new foot for this base I uh, don't pay attention to that little guy. Now that this guy's done, we're going to port some holes into the corners and screw it to this block, and this will be the base of our new foot. Okay, now that the base is done, we're going to put these two guys together. We're going to drill a hole in the side right there through the wood and into the tubing to run this 3-inch screw in there to marry everything up. And then the... Uh, main assembly can go back on the down tube and your pogo stick is complete well here it is completed I use it to support L pieces that are hanging off the table I use it to catch cutouts so they don't fall down and smash whatever's below it um, I also frequently use it to jack up the back corner of pieces when I'm trying to level them out and it's hard to reach in the back of the cabinet. Just remember, like any piece of kit, it has its limitations and misused, it can be dangerous. The box only says it's rated for 66 pounds, but if you uh, use your head and use it intelligently, then this guy can uh, be a pretty handy tool to have around. Well, thanks for watching.